one day there was a little girl and her name was Gracie. Every day she used to go by the edge of the water and she used to throw her ball up in the air and catch it as many times as she could until one day she let the ball go and it rolled into the sea right to the bottom of it. No matter how much she wanted to she just couldn't get it. So she sat herself down underneath a tree and fell asleep. As the ball fell to the bottom of the deep blue sea, it landed in between a shipwreck. Gracie thought that she would never see the ball again until a strange little fellow saw the ball land so he swam over to it. He poked it and he prodded it and the ball wouldn't move. So he had an idea, I know, I'll swim off and find my friend. And off he went. The strange little fellow's friend was a mermaid who swam down to try and get the ball. No matter how much she tried, she just couldn't get it. She used her hands to try and get the ball, but that was too much of a tight gap. She tried using her towel to get the ball, but again, she just couldn't get it. So she decided the only way to get it is to screw herself up into a tiny ball and fall into the gap. As she went down, she caught a post that trapped her in the boat. Oh no, I'm going to be stuck here forever. Then, not knowing what to do, she started shouting, help, help, help. Then, a shark swam past. So she shouted louder, help, help, help. The shark turned around and come back. This time, he saw her, hello. Help me! I'm stuck! So the shark turned around, went back, and this time tried to help her. He tried with his fins, that didn't work. So he tried with his head, and that didn't work. He tried with his towel, he managed to get a little grip on the towel, but every time he pulled it, it was too heavy, and fell back on the mermaid. So he tried again, this time using his head. And he pulled and pulled and kept slipping off. So he said, I know, I get small, just like you. I might be able to pull it too. So he turned himself small and couldn't do it. So he said, I know, if I swim at it, I may be able to get it. If I go really fast at it, I may be able to lift it. So the shark swam off. And this time, when he returned, he was going really, really, really fast all the way down he managed to get his head just underneath it and use it like a hammer and pulled and pulled and pulled with all of his might until he managed to lift it when he did he then turned himself round and went down to where the mermaid sat he tapped her on her head and said come on well, you can open your eyes now she shook herself free and lifted up as she did she gave him a kiss on top of his head and as if by magic the shark turned into a mer boy. Oh, thank you, he said. Thank you very much. I, I've been trapped in this body for a hundred years. And that evil witch, she turned me into a, a shark. Be careful of them woods. That's where she lives. And with that, he swam off. The mermaid remembered what she had come down here for. she came down here for the ball. So she managed to pick the ball up and then she swam off to where Gracie was. Gracie was sitting on the sea bank playing with a fish when all of a sudden the mermaid appeared. Do not be afraid young one for I am a mermaid. I am here to tell you to be careful of the witch that lives in the woods. Don't go near her or she will do bad things to you. But I have got you a present. With that, she bent down and picked up her ball and returned it to her. Here is your ball. It fell deep down into the sea, but I have it for you. With that, Gracie couldn't believe her eyes. She said, thank you very much. And with that, the mermaid flipped up in the air and splashed back into the sea. Mm -hmm.